Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master pressage, flawless master pressage run uh, in Season of the Lost. I'm doing it on Night Stalker Hunter Top Tree, Dodge Go and Viz. I'm using Night Watch, obviously because it's a lightweight weapon, so I go a little bit faster with it. Glacial Chasm because of the perk synergy, I wanted to kind of show that off in a video. And the Lament. Now the Glacial Chasm comes with Subsistence and Reservoir Burst, which is brilliant for PvE. I get a kill with a full full magazine, it will reload the shot I used and I'll still have basically Reservoir Burst until I've not got enough rounds to have a full magazine. So just a cre and I've got a Charge Masterwork. Crazy synergy on the, on the perks. Usual kind of perks on the armor. Now, where it says Unstoppable Fusion Rifles, I actually took that off and I've changed that. I changed it to uh, Powerful Friends, <clears throat> which gives me plus 20 mobility. Uh, as you can see there, Lucent Blade. Lucent Blade needs another Arc mod to proc the second perk, which is faster, a faster heavy hit. Your, your charged hit uh, charges quicker. Uh, pa I've, I've got Passive Guard on. And as I say, fusion and sword rifle, ammo finders and scavengers. I've got, uh, I've also got on uh, taking charge, which will keep me charged with light, which will proc uh, lucent blade for when I need it. So this run, it's a, I, I think that's a pretty decent run. I think I could have done this, and you'll see for yourself, in about 20 minutes. I actually waited at the boss for about a minute and a half where I went, and it might not be that long, but roughly a minute and a half uh, to get my tether so that I could at least, you know, get that 30% extra damage boost on the boss and control some of the ads that were down there. There is there's a 25 minute uh, timer on this, and I think the timer, same as when we have uh, Prestige Nightfalls, I think the timer throws people off. This really is no difficult from them running normal. Now, having said that, you do have match game on, <clears throat> but the sword, the sword doesn't really care about match game, uh, and swords will just go through the shields. I wouldn't say super easy, but pretty easily. So hopefully in this video we're going to talk about the main choke points, where exactly you can save time. And, and and you can get your emblem if you haven't already got it before the Tangle Chore goes in February. Now, we're not 100% sure whether the Pressage is going to go because it's not actually on the map. But because it's you have to select the Tangle Chore to get the quest to come up, then it could go. And the emblem's pretty cool. So I'm going to use the fact that I've got Passive Guard on to just... Normally, I don't land on top of them like that, but in this section, you just, you're just you just trying to get past it. And you'll see there, I used the Glacial Chasm to kill that last Screeb and just got my round back because of subsistence. If I've ever got smoke on my melee, if I've ever got smoke charged, I just throw it away so I can use my knife uh, to prop the Egregor Link pods. Again, just make my way through this maze. Anytime I'm jumping, most of the time when I'm jumping through little areas where the screeps, I will just brick get the sword out. Jump, go down here and there's, there's a couple of things you've got to do. You've got to jump up to the right and activate a switch. And then you've got to go out uh, and activate the lever to get the fuse to come out. And that's the point of this. The, the point of this uh, <clears throat> activity is... Do one thing to unlock another, and you just keep doing that until eventually a fuse will appear, and you'll shoot the fuse, and that'll be that'll be that. I think I've got a major, major mod on my glacial chasm because just about every ad in here, just about every ad in here that I'm gonna need for the glacial chasm to take out as a major. So we're gonna jump across, activate this, this switch, and then we've got to go back. This switch opens up a vent, and we've got to go back. And we've got to shoot uh, the fuse, which opens the door. It's all convoluted and, and, and kind of confusing. Uh, but this is the point of it, is to shoot a fuse, which will open a door somewhere. Sometimes it's to to reveal an, egreg an egregore link uh, pod. Sometimes it's to open doors like this. 
a little nod here to Star Wars. We have the trash compactor scene. Now, we'll talk about this trash compactor. This can be quite annoying sometimes to get first time. But because of the run we're doing, uh, I, don't, I don't actually need to get it first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to spend time running about and trying to shoot things. What I'm going to do is just run, keep running close to the at, close to these uh, screebs and uh, getting them to explode. So we've got two. I th I can't remember actually if, if I if I failed. Yep, I think I failed this. Oh no, I got it just in time. That's why I couldn't remember because it was so close. So you just run past them with a the sword out, and if you just keep running past them, you'll activate them, and they will they'll explode. You don't have to waste time. It's actually quicker than shooting them. And then when you get into this room, this is your first choke point. I'm going to take the, these two snipers out. See, I'm blocking because I was anticipating the shot, and then dodge, go in, viz, and now I'm going to use the glacial chasm on the big boy, and I, I glacial chasm them, then melee them. Now, you'll see here, this is where Glacial Chasm, the reservoir burst with uh, with uh, subsistence really comes into play. I'm just going to throw my grenade over there to that, that tether point. And I could have been faster here, but I wanted to show off why why I rate this, uh, this roll so much. Just the clearance, the ability to clear is, is insane. Now, when you when you uh, take the shield down from these uh, corrupted chieftains, you uh, I'll just finish them off with the, the fusion. When you take the shield down, it won't actually it won't kill them. It'll leave them with very little left. Uh, so that's why you see when I first jumped up there, I just fusion rifle melee because I knew that would kill them. But uh, I think I think this takes me back to. Uh, Wrath of the Machine kind of perks this Glacial Chasm, how they synergize so perfectly. I'm pretty sure it's the only only fusion rifle in the game you can get those perks on, but don't quote me on that. I think it is. You need to get one of these anyway. So we're going to go up here. I always go up top in the tank room to start with. Take out, as you can see there, as a as a solar uh, sword, but it cut through the void shield even on match game really well so I'm I don't have I don't have uh, a full magazine so obviously I can't I can't proc uh, I can't proc reservoir burst but what's happened now is because I've killed it's okay when you kill the ones at, at, at the top but because I killed one of the 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 corrupted uh, guys at the bottom, because I killed him, uh, it activated the boss. So I managed to get some of them killed. So I'm just going to get them to come up and then Glacial Chasm, do your thing. Now, once I've killed those, what's normally going to happen is I'm going to get a load of exploders. But because I'm trying to just go as maybe not super quickly uh, but I'm, I'm trying to keep myself moving I never waited for the screebs to appear up top normally they'll appear up top and it doesn't matter where you are you can see them appear because the, the little kind of fonts of light that tell you they're there they actually they actually show up underneath so what we're going to do now is, what I'm doing, I could have killed that, that abomination on the left. But I want I want to kill them both together. And what I do, what I normally do is get them finishable. So that's him finishable. First one, and then we just spin round. Finish the second one. And we're going to get all the same ads back in. Just going to take this guy out down here before I get out of dodge and see if I can take these snipers now we've got all these ads <laughs> and the glacial chasm just didn't care 
managed to get them before uh, we're just going to back down here that's <laughs> just so good in any other activity I, I could have been in trouble there I'm just going to dodge go and vis and I'll take out the big boy and you can see the screebs screebs come up after me so just just to recap on, on, on what happens you'll come in you'll have these chieftains you'll have a solo one here an arc one on the other side and a void one up top I always go up top because it's great kind of a great place to attack uh, once you take out one of the chieftains at the bottom you'll get the two big uh, scorn ogres and you'll get a, a, a are they called ravagers the the little lantern uh, scorn I think, they're called, I think they're called Ravagers. You'll get a wave of those, and once you take them out, you'll get... If you stay up top, or if you're on the, the, the gangway, you will get Screeps. So once you take once you take out one of the... One of the Ogres, you'll get another wave of the Chieftains and a wave of the Ravagers. That's why I like to take both of the, the Ogres out together. So the idea is, don't just bust your... your sword... You know, I always try and look to see what kind of ammunition I've got. You see at this point here what I was doing was trying to wait until they gripped up and get the explosion to kill multiple. That The fuses you'll find out that uh, you, it's got to be consistent fire. It's not just four shots. You've got to consistently hit the fuses to break them. So if you do two shots, reload, you'll still have to do four more shots. Whereas... If you're just shooting, it's four shots in a row. Now, in this section here, we were going to try try and get past it as quickly as possible. So, I'll go for those two screeps to start with. And you see that I tried to share the shots. So, I never got the reservoir burst, which is fine there. What you can actually do here <clears throat> is you can dodge it, go in vis, and run past these ads. But, uh... I decided not to, I decided just to just to kill them. Now we'll dodge go and viz. What we'll do now is go down and kill the turret. And then <laughs> shoot the shoot the fuse which opens up a door, as all fuses will do, which gives us what Egregore link. And then melee it twice and we're out of here. Dodge and viz and just run past the remainder of the ads. I didn't even have to kill that chieftain if I didn't want. I could have just ran past him as well. When you get here, one of these, it's its the double doors. One of them will lead you to the Egregore link, which is this one. And the other one leads you to the way out. So I always shoot on the way out. I always shoot two doors. Go past the second door and then it's left. And then jump over the Screeb. And then we're back out. Now, if you're doing this with a team, which you can, you can get the Solar Flawless Emblem in a team. Uh, sorry, the flawless emblem in a team. Your two teammates can just wait here. Because this is where we came in to start with. And you can run around and do it all yourself. It just means it's 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 less for uh, less chances for people to die. But uh, I'm I'm sure you I'm sure most of you guys would be able to just run as a team. No problem at all. So I tailored and took out all those ads. And then I'm just charging my shot. Now, the Lament shot, the L Lament's charge shot, you can do five uh, fast hits. Your uh, either, what is it, R2? Is it R2 on PlayStation? R1, right shoulder. The, the light attack. You can do five of those, and just as your fifth one is hitting, that's when you're going to hit your big attack it's like an old it's like a haymaker shot uh you can as i say you can actually do five light attacks which kind of just helps with uh with dps so what i'm going to do is just kill these two uh corrupted breeders shoot the fuse which opens a door back here which gives us our egregore link now if you're if if you are looking at the time you're doing this and it's always run out of time 
If you can get to the boss, now I'm going to get to the boss with about 10 minutes left, 11 minutes left, just shy of 11 minutes. It took me 5 minutes then to complete the boss. And you'll see, when I say it took me 5 minutes, it really didn't take me 5 minutes. So, double melee. And we're at the boss, we're dropping down to the boss at 10.57. So, straight away, we're going to attack the boss with a charge shot, as you can see. We don't really take a lot of burn damage because passive guard is doing its job. And then what I do there is take that corrupted... Uh, that corrupted chieftain out. And then I'm just clearing two sides. We're all good. Uh, I was taking a little bit of heat. Now, he I've got solar damage resist on. I'm shooting these with, sorry, I'm just shooting these with the primary just to produce some orbs because we want to get charged for light. Uh, I've got solar damage resist on because when I, it, it was literally because I knew when I was fighting the boss, gonna be a lot of solar. But there's probably more void. So if you feel like the void snipers, which aren't here yet, the void snipers come in the next two waves. So from now on, the wave. Where you actually come into the room, there will be no Void Snipers. But every other wave after that, there will be. If you feel like they're doing more damage to you than the Solar is, then go with Void Resist. And I always block when I come in here with a sword. It's Force of Habit. And I've got Charge for Light times 3. And the first wave, I'm going to go down here. The boss will be over here to the left. So I'm not going to use my tether. Dodge, go in, biz. Wait for my heavy. And you'll see. I will dodge, go in, biz, And I'll run back to where I jumped in. Now I am taking some burn damage. But it's all good. You see that? My sixth coyote is pretty scuffed. I said that in my... Uh, master video that it's it's a scuffed it's the vendor role so it's it's a really low set of stats I haven't managed on this account to get a better one now you might have seen there we got some screeps incoming I'm gonna dodge I don't really want to wait there because I couldn't see if if any more screeps were coming and we'll just use that get my sword out as I say if I know I've got heavy then I've got no problem with, with busting busting through some heavy ammo Let's see I've got special there rather than change I just just went for it I'm charged by light times 3 again make sure when you get here make sure you activate you see that coolant flush 1 initiated make sure before you go into the center room so we're going to activate this. Make sure you activate these outside consoles first. Because now I've got Coolant Flush 2. Once I activate this one inside, then you'll see here, it's red in here because I am getting burnt. And the minute I activate it, Coolant Flush 3 initiated, it cools all the rooms that were on fire, including that middle room. If you, do, if you don't activate the other two first... Uh... If you don't activate the other two first, once you've activated that console, it will keep burning you. And that's just something you don't want. So, as you can see, when I came down here this time, I blocked there. When I came down here this time, the boss will always be in the last place that you attacked him. So I knew the boss was going to be there. But I jumped onto the little, there's a little pipe at the side. I jumped onto that first. Just get rid of this. You see, I, I came out there, but I had a charged shot. The reason why I never went after the, the ad, the corrupted... The reason I, nev I never went after the corrupted, even though I was using my sword, is because charged shots don't do that. When you've got a charge... When you charge your heavy, they don't do the... The thing where they just like lock on charge shots uh, charged 
uh, heavy shots on, on, on the, this sword will not lock on to enemies and like go flying across the map to get to them. Dodge, get out of there, and then one shot kills all the ravages. So I would I I should have just blocked like that and just went after him, but I'm I'm so when you block, uh, it charges the shot. Because obviously it's left trigger. Well it doesn't charge the shot, but does it charge the shot? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm confused. Uh, yeah, don't charge the shot when you're when, if you, if you're wanting to make up ground between you and 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 and, and a big ad that's going to be hitting you hard because the charge shot, as I say, won't lock on. Now, as you can see, we've got five minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock. So I'll pick up that heavy, I'm full on heavy, I'm blocking. I've got 5 minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock with one DPS phase to do. And because I'd seen how much time I had left on the clock, I thought, I'm just going to wait for my super. It's not, not far away. The thing about, you'll see when I went down, down, he does do, everybody knows this, most people know this, that this boss the locust boss, he can teleport. The sword with the blocking capabilities, uh, the sword with the blocking capabilities helps negate any impact damage he can do to you when he teleports right in front of you. So just, if he does teleport and he goes to hit, goes to strike you, make sure you block. It will, it will stop you from taking any damage from getting flung into a wall or any of that stuff. And the tether controls any other ads that are going to come down with him. So I've attacked him here every time, so he will wait here for me. So I'm going to tether the ground, get my sword out, get a charged shot, five, and then a big hit, and then dodge and get away out the way until my heavy attack is ready. And there you go. It's always better to have your super when you're attacking the boss. So, because we do damage to him when we drop into the room, I don't worry about a super for the first damage phase because I've already took a third of the health that I can take off him in that phase. But all the other sections, good idea to to uh, to make sure you've got your super. And that is my solo flawless master presage. Uh, I do like this little, little bit play out. So you guys can see this was, I got the emblem on this run, I got the triumphs. Uh, and I think I got the triumph for doing this solo as well. Uh, I can't remember if there's a solo and a solo flawless. Uh, I think there is. Because this literally was the first time I came into the, the Master Presage. It's not very difficult. I hope some of the tips that and uh, hints that I gave you in this video with setup and stuff, double dodge and viz, you could even... Go a bit further and have uh, protective light on as well. So when you're getting charged with light, that you know when you lose your shields, it gives you massive resistance against damage. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and I will see you guys in the next one.